Dear brothers and sisters, our topic today is to be a liberal or a conservative. Who are we as Orthodox Christians? And uh, we are going to talk not about the cultural things, not about some political or some social issues. We are going to talk about the faith, Christian teaching and the morals and the principles of Christian life. And uh, we remember the words of our Lord who said that uh, this world will pass, but my words will not pass. Because the words of God are absolute. This is absolute truth. And it is our task to know, to discover these words and their meaning and to keep on to these words, not to betray Christ and to follow him with all our efforts. In the church we uh, see some people are conservative, some are liberal, theologians, uh, and conservative uh, sounds like somebody is keeping to some old principles, some outdated things because they are sacred, because of time, because it's been around for many centuries and uh, it has some value because of that. And not willing to change, not too willing to adjust to reality and not willing to, uh, to be um, reasonable about it. This is uh, what is our impression of the word conservative. On the other hand, uh, the liberal theology is, uh, has a revolutionary spirit that uh, says that, okay, what we have now can be destroyed uh, because, okay, we need to respect the life as it is now, the needs and uh, um, character of modern people and uh, we need to get rid of some outdated stuff uh, and we need to adjust uh, to what we have now. And there is another, uh, another uh, liberal idea that uh, we need to go back to how it used to be in the first century and we just physically copy whatever there used to be in the church in the first century. And we don't care about anything else. And such people, they disregard uh, pastoral, uh, pastoral needs, they disregard uh, why certain changes took place in church practices, in, uh, in the prayer. They don't care about this, they just want to break everything and for uh, the sake of some idea to go back to some new practice. So they completely disregard past and present and they want they're dreaming about something in future. And uh, uh, our position as Orthodox Christians uh, should be much wiser. Uh, we, on the Yuktenia during Divine Liturgy, we're asking God to preserve us. To preserve us. The word there is to preserve us all through. It, it's not uh, to conserve us, okay? to preserve, to guard, protect. So uh, the purpose of us as Christians is to protect and preserve the truth that is in the church. This is our uh, goal, not to conserve, to make it like a old uh, uh, biscuit or some antique thing and we just preserve it on a shelf, no. It's to, um, uh, to conserve it, like to put it into some liquid so it's conserved, okay? Uh, no, our goal is to preserve and to use and to make it alive and bring fruit in our lives. To preserve the truth. And we need to be careful to, uh, to know what is the truth because there are also different interpretations 
and we need to, this is why we need to uh, see what the Holy Fathers taught us and uh, what is uh, happened during the church history, what were the pastoral needs for introducing some practices, for example, communion uh, to be taken after confession, and many other things. Uh, what were the reasons behind it, and do we have these needs now? There might be, there, there can be a possibility for a reform of some church things, but a reform not for the sake of reform, but for the sake of adjusting it to the teaching of the Holy Fathers and the truth. But uh, unfortunately, uh, now many people in the church are uh, willing to have a reform for the sake of reform and uh, um, destroying, destroying the church completely. This is a very uh, liberal idea, and this is why some people, instead of uh, trying to have this rational reform, they just keep to uh, protect, protectionist. They just keep what we have now, uh, not to lose what we have and to, to lose everything um, in that process. So uh, that might be a better solution in case uh, we cannot do this, uh, uh, this uh, reform in light of Holy Fathers. Okay, and we also remember that Christ himself he was brought a revolution. But this revolution was against what? It was against sin and darkness. He brought this revolution. So there should be a, also a revolutionary spirit in us, but it should be to protect the truth and to uh, make this uh, truth alive. So this is uh, our goal as Orthodox Christians. And in this sense, we can be a fundamentalist, we can uh, be considered fundamentalist because we have some fundamental truth that we uh, are protecting and guarding. Of course, we're not going to blow up anything for the sake of this, but we have this fundamental uh, truth that uh, will not change and we're not going to give it up. Christ himself said that you will be my uh, witnesses and you will uh, be placed in front of kings and uh, judges and uh, uh, some of you will be killed for my name's sake. So we need to be ready even to sacrifice our lives for the sake of truth. And this truth is in the words of God himself. And uh, you know, we should not uh, be willing to adjust to this modern uh, lifestyle or way of thinking uh, that is uh, this post-Christian, post-modernist uh, values that are now uh, becoming the mainstream because um, in the ancient times uh, Christianity went against the mainstream. All the pagans and even Jews of that time were against Christianity and this is why uh, there were such uh, terrible persecutions. And we need to be ready to be persecuted, to be chased away, to be marginalized for the sake of the Lord and His words. So let us uh, ask the Lord to give us His wisdom, His understanding, uh, to be always uh, in the truth. Keep us in your truth. This is uh, one of our prayers. Okay, And uh, the Lord will give us his uh, guidance and he will uh, give us uh, understanding of what to be preserved and what does not have to be preserved, what is absolute and what is uh, relative. And uh, may the Lord give us his blessing. And uh, uh, one more thing. Of course, very often the conservative uh, people are closer to the truth than the liberal. People who are trying to preserve what we have um, happen to be closer. Because uh, nowadays we very often don't have 
spiritual understanding of many things, many reasonings behind certain teachings and traditions. And this is why when we begin to rely on our reasons and to be liberal, we are dragged far, far away. But the people who are preserving what we have, even though they seem to be conservative and uh, a little bit like retrograde, but they become closer to the truth than otherwise. Okay? May God give us this uh, uh, understanding and uh, blessing and keep us in his truth. I mean.